because how the heck am I supposed to tie this back? Oh my god, it doesn't even come with instructions! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today you guys, I have Victoria Whitman that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. Here she is in the box in full glory. She's absolutely stunning. Here's Victoria Whitman, of course, just like with um, Kim, they do not have series five on here. It's just the sticker and this is what she looks like in the box. They have the art, like all of the series do. And then it has the accessories here on the side and we do see their focus here. She is a fashion design focus. And then on the back, it's a picture of Victoria and Olivia. And of course it has the same little wording there at the bottom that I read for Kim. And of course, nothing on this side. So you guys, I'm going to get her out of the box so we can get a closer look at her. So before I show you Victoria, here is the artwork on the box. There's two arts here. And then here in the corner, my personal favorite is her right there. Oh, I love this artwork. Okay guys, she's out of the box and I'm gagged. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gagged. She's like so pretty. She's, oh my god, I I was not expecting this whenever I first saw the pictures and stuff. Like, oh my god, you guys, the pictures don't do the justice. She's stunning. <laughs> Let's get a closer look at her. So starting with the hair, she has these two braids here on each side. They're both being pulled back in this cute little braid and it meets here in the middle and it just comes down here. And you guys, her hair is really, really gelled, guys. Like, look at this. This is all like just a chunk. Like, look, this is like gelled, like completely hoard. And then of course on this side as well, it's the exact same, so. There's more gel on her than there was on um, Kim. Kim didn't have that much gel, but you're gonna have to wash it out because the way it's packaged is like two chunks. So if you can see, there's this piece and there's that piece, super gelled. But other than that, the hair color is really pretty. It's The camera really isn't picking up the color. It's like a super light brown. There's some blonde, there's some pinky tones into it, some peach, and then there are like some darker like browns here, which the camera isn't picking up like a dark brown, but it is like a a darker brown and overall I really like this um, combination of hair colors and moving on to her face she does have the freckles all over her body and she has the brown eyebrows with the cute brown eyeshadow which I really love this eyeshadow on her like it's really cute and she has the like bluish greenish eyes and she does have these lines guys I don't know if mine was printed wrong but they're just kind of like they look like they're out of place I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be but that's how they are on mine and then here is the lips those are so these lips like are really interesting so it's like a peachy color but it has like the two lines there's two lines here and it meets like down at the bottom so it's kind of like a v um interesting i i've never seen that before i don't know if it's like a trend or something let me know if i'm missing out on a trend but yeah that's what her face looks like there's some blushing here on the sides you can see like very very light blushing on that side and on that side as well Okay guys, check out these earrings because they are so cool. It's like a flower and it has um, like a gold rod coming out of it and it has pearls and it's so unique and so interesting. And I don't know if they're based off of something, but it's really cool to look at. And it's the same earring on this ear as well. So she has two matching earrings just like Kim. So let's take a closer look at her nails and you can also see the freckles continuing down to her arms and onto her hands. And as for her nails, they are like a pink color. They're like a very, very light baby pink color. No rings or anything. They, they aren't long, so they are just standard painted rainbow high hands like series one and series two. There's no long nail to it, it's just painted. So taking a closer look at her top, she has this embroidery going all around. So it does go around all the way to the back the embroidered stems with the pearls and then the extra fabric that is the flower and like I said it does go to the back so it does continue to the back and the way this is attached oh my god I don't even know how I'm gonna get this back on her but it's attached by this string and look how interesting it's tied you guys and it didn't come with any instructions you know how usually when they have like this this stuff like that with the string it has instructions but look at that look how intricate especially here in the front i don't know how i'm gonna 
duplicate that, but um, at least I have it on video. So I'll, I'll be able to see if I can do that again. But yeah, that's the top. And then moving down to her skirt, she has a five tier skirt. So there's five layers to it. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five layers and then there's pearls all over it. And it does continue as well here on the back and it does Velcro on the back as well. And that's pretty much it for the skirt. It's just a basic cute little skirt. Well, not basic you guys, cause there is pearls and there is like, like uh, five layers to this. And it has like, it's just like, there's just some satin fabric under there, but yeah that is the skirt nothing really much to it um but it's a really cute piece and it complements the top really well moving down to her heels she has like a chunky strappy heel i love a chunky heel and it has bows here it's like a mauve mauve is that what the color is mauve um question mark i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's like mauve like a i don't know i'm guessing mauve and then it's like a pink color here it has the R is here for Rainbow Hoy, and it has the gold detailing little buckles here. They're like, there they are. And then here at the bottom, they are red. So they're red at the bottom. Oh, can you focus, please? Thank you. Yeah, they're red. And it, of course, it has left and right. So you know which one goes where. And they are a bit loose. So you can put socks on them. And I think I have some extra socks. I want to put those on her. So yeah, those are the shoes. As for standard accessories, she has a pink glittery stand. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like a Bella, like Bella's stand. It's kind of that color. And then of course we have the matching comb, you guys. I know you guys are always excited for combs. So here's another comb. And of course she comes with a pent hanger, which is in a light baby pink. I don't know if the camera's picking up that shade correctly, but she also comes with this one as well, which is the rainbow hanger that we know and love. We love hangers. So yeah, those are the basic accessories. And now moving on to her more interesting accessories. She does come with a sewing machine, just like Kim came with. Um, I don't think the camera's picking up this, but it's like a slight pink. It has a slight pink tone to it. So it's not white, it's pink with gold detailing. And then here is the front of her phone. Her phone screen is rocking Instagram as well, just like Kim. You can see her friends up there on um, Victoria. She posted a nice picture. It looks like she's at Pacific Coast having a good time. And then of course you see Priscilla Perez down there at the bottom. She posted something we can't really see, but love the feed. And that's what she has on the front of her phone. And here's the back of the case. We've seen this design before. It is a standard staple for Rainbow High. It's just glitter with like the RH with the hearts, the glitter, the stars, everything. <laughs> and then she also comes with the four lenses on the phone. So um, no new phone mold. This is the exact same phone we've gotten from Shadow High Series 2 and Kim as well. They have the same model of iPhone. She also comes with a hair dryer, which we've seen a couple of times already uh, with the gold detailing and it has that pattern that her phone case had. The buttons are pink and of course the little nozzle thing is pink as well and then the bottom is gold. So she also comes with a palette just like Kim came with. Um, the thing is she didn't come with any brushes so she's not making up anyone. <laughs> so she just has the palette, no brushes. Uh, here is the Rainbow High logo on there and has like a pink paper with glitter on it. You can't really see the glitter on camera, but uh, trust me, it is there. Here's what the palette looks like on the inside. So it has a mirror, of course, and it has these shades. Let me zoom in so you guys can see the shades that uh, Victoria is rocking. So there's those and it does have like that Versace inspired logo in the middle, just as Kim had as well on hers. All right, you guys, that is my review for Victoria Whitman. And my final thoughts is I'm pleasantly surprised by this doll because I didn't think I was going to like her this much, but I love her so much. And you guys, I did add the socks. Like I said, I was going to add the socks. And um, any note that I have, I wish that she came with the socks. I feel like the socks complete the look. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know down below. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.